We're going to be right back after the break with licensed social worker Jim Clark. He's going to discuss the best ways to help your child become an independent adult just in time for Independence Day. Wednesday's the 4th of July, of course, fireworks, a lot of cookouts going on out in this heat, and we celebrate our country's independence at the same time. In the spirit of independence, we welcome back licensed social worker and president and CEO of Daniel, Jim Clark, to discuss another form of independence, getting your children prepared to become socially and financially independent. Well, that's yeah. a tough task. It's it, easier said than done. It really is, but it's a lot of fun. It's what life is all about, teaching the, your children to grow up and then leave that nest and hopefully maybe later on taking care of you. I don't know if that's <laughs> necessarily the case. But, you know, at Daniel, uh, we have been working for ki with kids for hundreds of years, but literally the last 25 years through a grant that we got from the Jesse Ball DuPont, we've done a number of things to help kids prepare for independence. In fact, many of our models now are, are not only state, but they're national models and how you go about teaching kids to, to live independent. And that is something that's really important. And one of the things that I found in terms of raising my own kids is you don't have to be a, a child in aging out of foster care or you don't have to be a homeless child those same skills all children need and so some parents who perhaps pick up too often for their children or don't really teach their kids those independent living skills those children will, will have a, a more of a difficult time in life and so it's really beneficial to do that now how young do we start here i think you can start at any age even toddlers toddlers need to you know first thing you do is every child needs to know how to take care of themselves personal care so toddlers you just got to be aware of that they're going to go, uh, you're going to go leave and they're going to tie their shoes. You may have to take a little extra time. If it's, if they're, you know, tweens or, or in middle school, those children should be helping doing a number of things, perhaps helping for breakfast, preparing uh, breakfast or, or making sure that they can even get their laundry clothes out to the hamper. And of course, if you've got teens, uh, particularly if they're in sports, they need to lo know how to do that laundry and because multiple uh, athletic clothes and things of that sort. So all these things you're doing not only to teach them, but it also helps your lo workload itself go down some. I remember this. I was nine or ten. It was fourth grade. My, both my parents worked really, really early in the morning, so they weren't home to wake me up for school, so I had to learn to set my alarm clock and get myself up. I'll never forget that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good lesson, too. Absolutely. Every teenager and every kid, child in middle school really should have their own alarm clock to be able to start to prepare themselves and knowing how to, to, to be independent. Having your children take out the day before, having them do certain things of preparing their clothes for the following day. Now a lot of parents, what I say, that is one of the essence of chores is to show kids work ethics and responsibility to the home. And that's why you should give an allowance. And I'll talk about that in a little second well, yeah, here. You want to get into finances now? Sure. Finances yeah. are so important because that's Some really... Some adults have a hard time with this. <laughs> you, you know? real. And you start, number one, by cr helping children learn to create a budget. And what you do is you got to give them allowance. And when you give them allowance, they start to learn to prioritize. I think it's also important to help them understand how to pay bills. And we used to pay bills, even if they don't have bills to pay, Perhaps it's 10% ties or 10% to their savings that they may be doing. But, or uh, in my family, they might have a bonus or they might have a fine if they didn't do certain things. So those are always good things to do. And you want to tell them to, to teach them the difference between wants and needs. That's the, the whole essence of, of impulse buying. And you start to do those things, and those really start to help that child child and that young adult really become an adult and become independent and we have a whole bunch of other ideas on our website how old for checking real quick for checking accounts and savings accounts how old do you think is old enough to go open one for you i think at least 14 years old when they start to get into those teens that's really when you want them to understand money management and how they go about that and i tell parents too remember you're also giving if you're giving a lunch money that's an allowance that's just part of their allowance now let them start to learn how to budget that a little okay. bit better jim thank you so much if you'd like more information on these topics or any topic that Jim is here talking about on the weekend morning show. DanielKids.org is the website, also our website, newsforjacks.com.